Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of May 29th to June 4th. The City Council recently held a meeting to address urban coyotes and some misinformation about them on social media. Populations of urban coyotes are growing in suburbs across the Twin Cities, including in Bloomington. The city works closely with the DNR, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and other agencies to manage the coyotes. Education and hazing are the most effective ways to manage the animal. The city is not pursuing wildlife management through trapping and killing. Here are some examples of how to haze a coyote from animal control officer John Carlson. Making the loud noises, clapping boards together. You can use pots and pans, uh, anything that you have in the garage, in the house that you can bang together, yelling at the coyotes, and you want to be seen when we're doing this. During that presentation to the council, experts also explained that coyotes are difficult to count because they hide. The agencies are working on doing more extensive studies on the coyote population in Minnesota. If you want more information on coyotes in Bloomington or want to take a look at the map of all sightings and attacks, head to blm.mn slash coyote. Speaking of the city council, a few seats will be on this year's ballot. The positions of mayor, district one, district two, and one at-large seat will be on the ballot. The primary election will be August 13th and the general election will be November 5th. If you're looking to help out in the voting process, the city is looking for election judges. Election judges administer elections and ensure the rights of voters. It's a great service to the community. For more information on voting and becoming an election judge, head to blm.mn slash voting. On the topic of the city council, did you know you can have a conversation with your council member at an upcoming event? Food for Thought will take place during the farmer's market on Saturday, June 15th. Council members will be in the chambers and lobby for roundtable discussions related to sustainability. This is one of several recent events where city council members are reaching out to community members for informal conversations and connections. Speaking of the farmer's market, are you ready to kick off summer? Mark your calendar for Saturday, June 8th. It will be the first day of the farmer's market at Civic Plaza. Come pick up some fresh produce and local products between 8 and 1. June 8th is also the opening day at the pool. You can visit the Bloomington Family Aquatic Center through early September. There's a water slide, climbing wall, and zero depth entry. Daily passes are about 8 bucks. And finally, Kites and Bites debuts Saturday, June 8th. Head to Valley View Playfields for food truck fair and kite flying. The event is from 11 to 2 with free kites for kids 18 and younger. For more information on all these events and amenities, head to the city's website, bloomingtonmn.gov. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of May 29th to June 4th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find an important message from the Bloomington Police Department about a new scam targeting Bloomington residents. There's also another video from our Heart and Health series. We introduce you to a breastfeeding peer counselor. Check those out and thanks for watching.